Motor Guide here. Today we're going to talk about the installation of the NEMA 2000 Gateway and Starter Kits. This will allow you to connect and control through your Lowrance unit your XI trolling motor. Lowrance units that will work for this installation are the Elite 7Ti or greater and the HDS Gen 2 or greater. First we're going to unpack the NEMA 2000 Starter Kit. In this kit you're going to have your 15 foot extension, your power cable, your HDS connection cable, and your backbone components. First thing you're going to do is connect your backbone together. At one end, the HDS end of your backbone, you're going to have your NEMA 2120 ohm male termination that is going to connect, uh, female termination that's going to connect to the male connector on one of the backbone T connectors. Next, you're going to connect the other backbone T connector to the first backbone T connector. Like so. At this point, we will open up the NEMA 2000 gateway kit, which will connect, contain your gateway cable. and the third and final T connector. Next, you will take the second NEMA 2120 ohm termination resistor, the male resistor, and connect that to the backbone T included in with your gateway kit. At this point, you're ready to connect your power cables, your HDS cable, and your gateway cable. Your gateway cable will obviously connect to the T that came with that package, like so. Your HDS connection connector cable will connect to the outside T connector and your power cable will connect to the middle backbone T connector. At this point you would connect your 15 foot extension cable if needed. You'll need this if you're running a console HDS unit to your bow trolling motor. You'll want to em employ your extension cable between your backbone kit that would be stored under your console, going to your HDS unit, to your XI trolling motor backbone section that would be stored in your bow compartment. If you're running a bow HDS closer to your unit, you will not need the extension cable, and we recommend you connecting the backbone straight to each other. We do not recommend running an extension off of your gateway cable to your unit that will cause reduced performance. If you're going to use the extension, please extend between your backbone that would go to the HDS and your backbone that would run to your XI trolling motor. At this point, for ease of videotaping, I'm going to pretend that we have a HDS bow unit and connect the backbone all together. like so. That's a fully connected NEMA kit to allow you to run your XI trolling motor through your HDS unit. At this point, you're ready to connect to your equipment. Very important note, you can connect your gateway and your HDS cables to their respective equipment, but do not connect your power cable to power until you have both deployed your unit so that it can get GPS lock 
and turned on your Lowrance unit so that that can also get GPS lock. Those need GPS lock before you can connect your backbone to power, otherwise you will get reduced or no performance from your connect kit. Once those, both of those pieces of equipment gain GPS lock, you can then connect to power. You can go straight to your 12 volt battery. You'll need to crimp on ring terminals, positive and negative connection. And then you're good to go. Thank you and good luck and have fun running your XI Trolling motor.